Hey Virgo, how you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading for my Virgos out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look at what could be coming in for you guys for mid-month March 2023 and this is again for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. You could be a Virgo or you could be dealing with the Virgo. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest. Your bonus extended reading for the month of March, How Does My Partner Feel, is up on Vimeo. If you guys want to take a look, it is available. You can also book a reading with me, video recorded or done by Etsy message with a quick turnaround. I have some sales on my Etsy shop for my decks, tarot, oracle, spiritual jewelry, and cheat sheets. So check me out if you guys are interested. All right, so Virgo, let's start off with the biggest challenge you could be facing pertaining to love, okay? So Virgo, the biggest challenge is the King of Pentacles. I feel like this is you, okay? So Virgo, you want stability. You want something long-term. You're investing in your future, right? You may be focused on your family. Focus on things that are tangible in nature, okay? It feels like you're just overall just in a good place and you want to make sure you are secure, stable, right? Okay, so maybe you're really um, focusing on Maybe even a commitment. It feels like the King of Pentacles may want something more committed, okay? This could be like you wanting marriage one day. So let's see. Maybe that's the challenge. In a recent past, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, and the Judgment. It does feel like some of you guys you were dealing with or entertaining, okay, a Queen of Wands. Um, it does feel like this is someone that wasn't really moving forward with you. For some reason, it feels like this is someone that you had to leave behind. The judgment could be a big decision you had to make because someone here wasn't ready to move forward with regard to a commitment, okay? You could have been dealing with a very non-committal energy, okay? It could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, or Taurus. But the energy makes me feel like this is someone that you were not aligned with. Your values, your belief regarding commitment, marriage, okay? We're not the same. And so something here may have not been moving because of that. Queen of Wands in the verse also gives me indication that someone wasn't taking a connection serious and wanted to just play around. Now, the current energy, Virgo, is the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands in the verse and the Sun. I really feel like there's a big decision you're making, okay? Um, two of Wands in the verse could be a decision between you... Um, uh, <laughs> could be anyone, right? Because there's three people here. For some of you guys, there's literally two people you're dealing with. You could be making this decision regarding a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Pentacles, okay? Just really depends, but I definitely feel two, two particular people, two energies, and maybe you haven't met this person yet because it's in the current energy. Maybe they're like literally gonna walk in your life like tomorrow. Now, the sun is big clarity, truth, illumination, okay? You could be literally finding something out there can also be a lot of healing happening with the sun. But I really feel like what's coming in is like a lot of happiness, harmony, peace, high vibrational energy, okay? And it does feel like there's something here that maybe, you know, you're having to make a decision about if you've been indecisive. If you didn't know which way you wanted to go, how to move forward, two of wands are you're getting out of this indecision energy, indecisive energy, right? And the sun could be literally picking a path. Okay, now you got the clarity, the truth to be able to make a decision that's best for you. And it does feel like this decision is going to bring you long term security, generational wealth, whatever it is, there's something stable coming in. Now, external to you, Virgo, we have the King of Cups, more people coming in, <laughs> Ten of Wands, the Five of Cups in the verse, and the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like there's someone here that feels um, emotionally like distant from you okay they may be definitely very emotional they may feel unloved or as if you're not opening up your heart to them right now i feel like there's a lot of sadness with this person maybe even feeling emotionally burdened okay by some kind of outcome i do see an ending that may have happened that your person is reflecting on five of cups can talk about feeling of a missed opportunity like this isn't what they really wanted there's a lot of regrets and sorrow here okay the five of cups I think with regard to the Ten of Pentacles, you know, how they see moving forward, obviously this is someone that may have a change in heart. You know, maybe they were not ready to emotionally connect with you. But the Ten of Pentacles is suggesting that maybe that's something they're considering long term, right? Maybe they know they have to emotionally connect or open up their heart to have some kind of long term opportunity with you. And maybe that was the issue here. Someone may have felt burdened by their feelings for you, which is why maybe you never got a chance to see how... 
like what this connection could be, okay? The potential of the relationship, especially if you're dealing with a very emotionally closed off, unavailable person. Someone who's afraid to be vulnerable and be intimate, right? Because there's some regrets regarding their uh, inability to connect with you on an emotional level. The, the cups are all coming out in reverse. So it makes me feel like your person, Virgo, was the one who wasn't opening up. As far as the outcome, the Eight of Cups, some of you guys are walking away. Or maybe there's someone that has to walk away from something. We have the Lovers and the Page of Wands in reverse. There could be literally a decision that you're having to make, right? The Lovers um, is literally a choice. It could be a choice regarding a person, someone you have a really strong soul connection with, whether you are to come together with this person or not. Now, page of wands in a verse is something you're having to maybe consider, right? Before you just like take action, move forward. Um, it does feel like the eight of cups could be maybe you walking away or leaving something behind. Leave something behind that is no longer serving you disappointment, hurt, grief, whatever. There's something you're leaving behind or again, your person has to leave behind in order to make this happen. I feel like the lovers are suggesting you and this person can be coming together, but there's something someone has to pull away from or give up on, page of wands in a verse, okay? So let's jump right in. Let's see what else we can find out. Again, there's a lot of people here. You know, we have the king and queen of pentacles. We have the queen of wands, the king of cups. So you could be dealing with any of these type of people or people that embody these characteristics, right? The Queen of Wands and the King of Cups. All right, challenging is the Nine of Wands. So Virgo, it's going to take a whole lot of hard work and energy and effort to really make something happen. I think the Nine of Wands is speaking about, you know, if you really want this, it's possible. But if you want something to be long-standing, you know, stable, secure... You're going to have to really fight for something. The Nine of Wands is about perseverance and dedication. Now, give me the recent past. The Hierophant and Reverse could be some commitment issues. Three of Cups, yeah. King of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. In the past, I definitely feel like someone has um, done something here and it feels like they stepped out of the boundary of, of the connection, okay? Three Cups for me is having fun, partying, letting loose other people, entertaining right offering their cup page of cups and it feels like that's not what you wanted because we have the king of pentacles here someone here wanted something more stable grounded long term and it feels like someone was putting off making that big decision until maybe perhaps virgo you decided to make the decision for them i definitely feel very strong non-committal energy and the king of cups came out so again more people there's a lot of people who are playing out in your reading today Okay, Nine of Cups. I feel like in the past, Virgo, there may have been a lot of confusion, okay? Certainly with all these people coming in. And you may have had to make a decision and go toward your happiness. That Nine of Cups is your wish fulfillment. What's going to make you happy? Your wishes, your dreams, right? Now, the Two of Wands in reverse, what decision is being made? We have the Queen of Wands. I'm sorry, yeah, the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Someone here, okay, you're making a decision about. The Queen of Wands, it definitely feels like it's a past person because we have the energy here as well. You may be making a decision to cut away or leave a queen of wands in reverse energy. Someone here that hasn't been taking the action you needed them to take. Someone that was wishy-washy. Someone that just wasn't uh, just taking the connection serious, right? This is someone that makes promises and doesn't keep it. And it just feels like there's a lot of games that were played with this person. You may realize that Virgo, you and this person are not on the same page. Three of Pentacles in verse could suggest that you're not aligned. Your values, your principles, your morals, your, your perspective on life. There's some issues in compatibility, maybe even some personality conflicts. And so you may be making a decision to remove yourself or, again, pick a, pick a path. Now, the sun... There's something you're realizing, five of wands and a six of swords. Some of you guys are realizing that someone is just bringing unnecessary conflict to your life. There's just been a lot of friction, a lot of headbutting, drama, tension, and that's not what you want. And so the six of swords could literally be here uh, because you guys just want peace. You're moving into calmer waters. You're choosing peace. You're choosing happiness. You're choosing joy. And there's something here, the sun, where you're now realizing you're getting clarity on, maybe regarding this person, okay, that maybe you just, you, you just don't, you, you don't vibe together, okay, your energies. There's something here where you just clash. And maybe there is an energy of you literally leaving this person behind because of the conflict and drama they bring to your life. 
Now, I don't feel like that's the only person you're dealing with, Virgo. So if there is another person you've been on and off with, maybe that's uh, who you're dealing with right now. Because it does feel like there's someone in your environment, King of Cups and Verse, maybe someone who really has a lot of love for you. And again, this could be two, two people, okay? For some of you guys, it's the same person. Give me more information about the King of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Something ended with this person. Yeah, Two of Swords. Maybe you ended with this person or ended the relationship because... Um, something just didn't feel stable, didn't feel like you were getting what you wanted. There could be something regarding disharmony in the home. Four wands in a verse, maybe this person was previously married, you didn't see yourself with them. There's something regarding the home, family, okay, maybe even a relationship. Maybe they didn't want a relationship at the time. Someone wasn't open to the idea, okay, of having home, family, or blending of families. Maybe that was the burden here that someone had. I feel like someone was um, not ready to move forward. Simple as that. Two swords in verse is like a decision that had to be made and someone was not ready to make that big decision, right? And so there could be a lot of regrets because something had ended with you and them. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands and we have the Knight of Pentacles in a verse. So I definitely get the sense that there's still passion, there's still excitement and desire to move forward, to have some kind of change, movement, progress, and a connection. I feel like you and your person definitely are still attracted to each other, but I definitely feel like there are some concerns that something just isn't coming in, right? And maybe that's what they regret. They regret coming in with all this passion and excitement, but not delivering something of of, of stability, right? Not delivering something with intention. Now, the Ten of Pentacles, they may be thinking about this and looking at it differently. The world in a verse definitely is signifying some unfinished business. So whoever this person is, it doesn't feel like things are entirely done. So you may be reconnecting with this person. And when you reconnect with them, there could be some kind of different perspective they have on life and long-term commitment partnerships and such um, okay, because there's some kind of change happening and it could be even this person maybe even looking into having that Ten of Pentacles, commitment, family, settling down, okay? So yeah, I feel like the Eight of Cups could be walking away from one lover, okay, and now making a decision about another. The lover's card is here, so you're you're coming together with someone, but there is a challenge of maybe letting go of something. Maybe you're holding on to something that isn't serving you anymore. Four of Pentacles, maybe your person is holding on or being guarded. There's definitely a challenge of opening up, maybe even walking away from some kind of past tie or past event or incident that isn't serving one's uh, highest good. Eight of Swords in a verse, okay? So it could be like a lot of negative thinking, um, ideas. Eight of Swords for me is very mental, right? So maybe someone is in your head about this connection and that's keeping them from coming together in this union with the lovers. So there could be literally a lot of negative thinking that someone is releasing themselves from, no longer giving um, time and focus to, okay? The Page of Wands in a verse could be like now taking a step back, not letting their fears overtake their life, right? And so Page of Wands, it could definitely be a message coming in. It could be from a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. But someone is going to reach out. And someone's reaching out because they want to move in this new direction. They're coming in with the creative idea, plan. There's passion. There's excitement to move forward. And so that is what I'm seeing. Virgo, if you enjoy these readings, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. You don't want to miss out. All right, you guys. Take care.